When you're feeling down, what do you do to pick yourself up? Do you call a friend or take a walk, maybe meditate, watch a funny movie, or do you go shopping? Oh, some of those are a good <laughs> idea. I'm not so sure about the last one. <laughs> well, or do you take a drink or do you take an antidepressant? Uh, too many people depend on that. You're right. Well, antidepressants aren't a new topic for us, but a new study just came out with even more adverse effects, especially on innocent children if their mothers are pregnant and taking the antidepressants. Yeah, well, see, the antidepressants are a real problem. They're not just some panacea. They're not some magic pill that you take that goes poof. It's not because your neurotransmitters are all screwed up that you get depressed. It's the other way around. You get depressed, and then your neurotransmitters go off the track. And the antidepressants that we use are to try and fix those neurotransmitters, but do they ever solve the underlying problem? No, they can't. So this is when people end up going into psychotherapy. That's the way to do it, is to try and work through the problem if you can. Or the mind-body kind of work. There are lots of ways to go about it, but that's the best approach there is. The use of drugs, particularly SSRI antidepressants, are a real challenge because they, first of all, are mostly, it's almost entirely a placebo. And why would you want to take a placebo with side effects? Why not take a placebo that's a placebo and get the same benefit from it? Because that's what the literature shows. Well, we've done other um, studies. We've discussed other studies on our, on our website mm-hmm. about antidepressants. And some of them have shown that, you know, when at the beginning of the show I was talking about um, taking a walk or talking to a friend. Oh, yeah. And there are studies that show that that really is effective. Very effective. Exercise is well known. Lots of studies came out of Duke about 10 years ago that showed that if you exercise for an hour three times a week, that it works as well as a Prozac or the other SSRI antidepressants. And to boot, when you check these people two years later, more people were in remission who had exercise than who had the SSRI antidepressants. There's a mouthful. Well, the other thing is, too, is that the antidepressants, they can even make people suicidal. I mean, this is what you're trying to prevent in taking it, is to feel this way. They can um, help you to be sexually impotent, which could cause people to be depressed also. There are lots of problems, lots of side effects that we see with that. I mean, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, headaches, weight gain, being groggy and dizzy. It even can cause agitation and anxiety. All the things that you're trying to stop. Well, it doesn't mean that everybody's going to get that. So it's, it's, and, and it doesn't mean that in severe depression it can't help. It's in mild to moderate depression, which most of us fall into, that it's no better than placebo. For a more advanced depression, it might be useful and might be worth a consideration, but always psychotherapy. Uh, should be interwoven with that. Also, it's pretty common for pregnant women to get depressed. Now, some mm-hmm. of them, of course, are elated and they're so happy and everything, but some people are not, and they are depressed. Mm-hmm. And so their doctor might prescribe an antidepressant and think, well, you know, they'll just have a little bit of this and they'll be okay. And they don't realize, see, they've done these studies, but they don't realize that later on down the road, their child ends up obese and with diabetes. Now, who would connect that with the mother having taken an antidepressant? Exactly. And up to 20% of women do take an antidepressant during their, when they're pregnant. So it's, it's not like it's a small number. So we, we need to find a better way to deal with that. And, and admittedly, postpartum depression is something where your neurotransmitters may be something that's causing the depression to occur. But that's different. You're that's not different. pregnant then. Exactly, <laughs> and that's the point I was about to make. Yeah. So is it okay to take an antidepressant? Sure. Wouldn't it be better to have a doctor who would prescri- prescribe a placebo for you and then encourage you to take it because it's a powerful medicine that works so well? Because the, the data shows that, the, that the, the bulk of the effect of the SSRI antidepressants is a placebo effect. And you may ask, well, or suggest that that might be an unethical thing to do. But is it really? 
I mean, if you've got a good relationship with your doctor and you trust that person, there is a certain... But they're going to not trust the doctor anymore if they think that their doctor's giving them a sugar pill. Well, they might not at the time. Maybe it's the sugar. <laughs> maybe it's Maybe sugar. that works as it's an antidepressant. It sweetens a depression, huh? <laughs> so, yeah, there is a place for most everything in medicine. It's knowing when to do what and at what time. So that's what we're really talking about. So if you're going through a problem with depression, talk to your doctor about getting some help and don't rely primarily on some magic pill that's supposed to solve the problem for you because you've got to work through these things yourself. And if you do, then when you get over it, it'll be a solid recovery and your children will be safer. Too. <laughs>